Hello everybody. It's me, I'm back, Samantha Jane. A little less lurgified, so I was able to come alive again tonight for you. If you're there, jump on, drop me a, a hello. If you're watching on YouTube, the replay on YouTube, then please remember to click subscribe and like and comment. Who is there? Hi, Adam King tuning in. Nice to see you tuning in. I hope everyone who's watching tonight did not catch the lurgy. Hi Simon, nice to see you tuning in. Adam's doing charity work, good. Hi Michaela, yep, see you soon at class Simon. Hi Tracy, hi Colleen, lovely to see so many of you tuning in. So, how are we doing? Did you feel that new moon energy come? Did you feel that new moon energy come in to play? Let me know. Let me know. Did you feel it? Have you had quite an emotional journey? Or, hi Steph, hi Sylvia. Or have you had um, someone, um, an experience where, um, you've had a realization and that has made you feel emotional. I'm trying to think through all the things that our people have been going through over the weekend. Yes, and also very sleepy because that's the draining of the energies and if you're empathic, then it may well have been um, quite a hard time energetically. So a lot of the emotions you may have been picking up on, hi Karen, hi Sylvia, are other people's. Some people may have, have struggled that way, they're particularly empathic, hi Julie, but others will have been having their own realizations, hi Michaela, ah, oh, big hugs honey. All right, so, you know, we are in this energy, thank you Jean, so am I, we are in this energy of shift and change. It is the desire for excitement, it is the realisation of perhaps being bored that will make us bring in some choices and changes. I am reading on big things at the moment, I do have to say with my clients, hi Sam, but what I would say to you all is no matter what the dynamic is of that happening, that coming in, this new moon is really to show us that we need more fun and we need more life, uh, life, <laughs> I needed to get life, um, more, more fun and more love in our life, okay, so be aware of that. All right, there is, you know, it's it's not that your world is necessarily crashing apart. If some of you have gone through quite big stuff, hi Joanna, it is more a case of being shown, you know, the, the rose tinted glasses are off with this one for you to face a reality perhaps in your life about where you are bored, um, where you need to have more fun with it. It could be that your work and life balance um, is out. You know, it could be, it could be things like that. It could be the give and take in relationships and it's no longer any fun to be in that relationship. Okay. So just be aware of that. So that is continuing, you know, this new moon energy, we are talking for weeks on that. All right. But it will be at its most intense now, as I would say. Hi, Emma. Nice to see you. Um, now today, what you may have found is you're feeling much more strongly connected to, to the things you want to do or something like that, all right? Something that is important to you, that connection to that, that connection to that world, hi Fiona, may have been maybe really highlighted to you today. You may feel very connected to it. And you may also be seeing things in yourself today that you need to shift in order to be more connected, more focused, more driven, or just more aware of what you need to do next in a relevant project. If that's resonating with you, let me know, drop me a shout out, drop me a comment. Now, that, you know, we have to watch um, as well for not sort of manipulating people to get what we want in our mission to achieve whatever it is, and we have to deal with our I call it the darker side, our shadow self, our, ne our own negativity as well. And I think for a lot of people, that's what the weekend brought up as well. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Fiona. 
So, yeah, it's one of those weeks, but by Thursday, yeah, a lot more focus today. I've had a lot of light bulb moments, and I'm feeling quite a lot better. Rain, quite a lot better. <laughs> I have my voice, that's a good start, because that disappeared. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, fears of betrayal, fears of upset, all things like that can be coming to the surface today. And then maybe this need to just watch ourselves, watch our own behavior in a response to that, you know, um, because the intense feelings that we are feeling, I always say to you, just because you're feeling it, hi Peter, hi Carrie, doesn't necessarily make it so. Often those feelings are coming from fears. I do say listen to your feelings, I do say you feel your way forward, but we also have to recognize, is that feeling coming from a place of fear? Because if it is, then that is the mind producing that emotion and it is not real. You know, emotions only have a hold over us if we hold on to them, all right? And this weekend and the next four weeks, then it may be that you go through pockets of a lot of deep, intense emotion in order to shift stuff that you are holding on to and hiding behind. Is that resonating with you? Is it making any sense? Let me know. All right, but as I say, when we get to Thursday, um, we become more involved in activities and challenges in a positive way because we're still seeking new experiences. That's the moon's influence as well. We are able to read between the lines, understand the truth of what's going on, um, not have to or feel the need to take everything at face value. We will click, we will be registering everything and our judgment will be much better than it has been at the beginning of the week. All right, so just bear in mind, it is very much that new moon energy. If you haven't read it, somewhere on my Facebook wall, I've put a post up over the weekend um, with my little bit of insight into that. I always prefer to do a positive slant on everything I do. I don't believe in being doom and gloom at all. All right, but this is a week where unexpected events may bring in changes, you know, but this is not necessarily a bad thing. All right, now if you are struggling, I'm going to turn to the tarot now for some guidance. If you are struggling this week um, with the emotions, I actually recommend um, citrine. All right, I love this piece. Citrine. Citrine will calm the emotions. I know I have this sat on my desk. All right, um, but yeah, citrine is a good one. I uh, also, um, what else would I, if you're struggling with sleep, I don't know about you, I am, I must admit, although part of me thinks it's to do with the um, being ill, it's put my sleep cycle out, but if like me, you're struggling with insomnia at the moment, then I'm gonna say to you moonstone and smoky quartz, and if that will show up too well, and smoky quartz. All right, those are the crystals that I would actually recommend. Oils, I'd recommend lavender just to calm. Okay, hi Tom, um, and hi Amanda as well. Um, so yeah, if you're struggling with sleep, then smoky quartz and moonstone. If you're struggling with your emotions, then I'm going to say to you citrine this week. I love citrine. Okay, now I'm going to turn to the tarot for some additional insight for you this week. Now I'm also going to run a competition. All right, because caring is sharing. So if you feel with all of this emotional turmoil, if I can even say the word, <laughs> if you have a friend who you feel could really benefit um, from a personal reading with myself, and that would be a 30 minute online reading, then what I want you to do is tag them in the comments. Tag a friend who could really do with my help right now, and let me pay that forward for you. All right, and I will see who, you've only got 24 hours to do, so tomorrow night I will announce the winner and contact that person, but I will go with who spirit draw me to in order to give them that little bit of help that you feel you would like to gift to them. So tag a friend who really is in need of my help. Right then, let's see what the tarot will give us. As always, I'm going to say that readings are for entertainment purposes. I mean, I keep feeling someone stood here. <laughs> I keep going to turn to talk to something because I keep think, feeling someone stood it. Right then, it's probably my guys going, come on, come on, get on with it. We've got to teach, we've got to teach. <laughs> 
because as you know, I go into a class. Right then, let's look at the week ahead. Let me see. So we do need to watch for this negativity that is coming out. We do need to watch that we don't give in to it. Remember I said to you, you've just got to watch what emotions you hold on to and let go of those. Now many of you will have seen your relationships, your connections, and it doesn't have to be personal, but your connections changing their role. Many of them will have been moving forwards into new areas. You know they've got to move forwards in a new way, whether they're personal relations, relationships or business relationships, friendships, family, whatever. Oh God, the voice is going. But there is this recognition that will continue this week that things need to shift and things need to change. All right. So that will continue into this week. These things will have already been being highlighted and it will continue into this week. Hi, Suze. Now, many people will therefore find themselves at the end of emotional cycles and stepping into new emotional cycles as well. This is also a week, though, because it's actually good. This is good for fun and romance and marriage proposals and all of that. And it's also good for business and business connections and starting business projects. So it's good for all of that. It's not all doom and gloom, but we do have to shift negativity out the way in order to go forwards. We cannot drag it forwards with us anymore. So many people will be having um, new beginnings in love. And I say that can literally be relationships or it can be um, in terms of loving what they do. All right, so just pay attention. Pay attention to where you are drawn to be. Pay attention to who you are drawn to be with. And um, you know, because wishes can be granted here if we are paying attention. This is a week where you have to choose to get out of limbo and you're gonna have to make a decision which way you are going. All right, <clears throat> so the limbo season is due to end. Now, when it comes to work and career aspects, many of you may feel incredibly tired this week. Watch for that. The sleep issues don't help, all right? But there is also lots of inner battles going on. <coughs> Sorry, in connection to work, all right? So just pay attention to that. Um, but the thing, because the thing is, a lot of those, that sort of challenge at work isn't really there. All right, remember, you've got these old emotions coming up. Stop seeing things that aren't real. All right, just pay attention to what is truth, be present, and keep going forwards. All right, ignore the challenges. And the child stood to my left. <laughs> We're not doing physical tonight. Um, <coughs> but there is also this need for you when it comes to relationships this week to understand <laughs> that you need to know what success in your relationships is got you want what success should feel like how you want it to be and have your eyes on that, not on your failings. All right, so bear that in mind, okay? When it comes to relationships, honestly, you'll be like, no, you're mad, you're mad. Even if you are going through some trauma, I am going to sit here and say that all is well, all right? No matter what the dynamic, you are going through a process. And keep that in your mind that you are going through a process to shift you into a better place all right into a much much better place and that is in your relationships and as i say that can be your intimate relationships it can be um your um business associates work colleagues friends family neighbors all of that all right um and there is also this need on a spiritual level to really understand the moon energy and pay attention to the moon's influence on you. But more importantly, what this moon is revealing to you. 
because many of you will be bringing in unexpected changes because of the emotional aspect that this has brought in. Many of you will need to take some opportunities, all right? And many of you will need to start to make a plan to move things forward as well, okay? So pay attention to yourself. Don't be looking for externals. Look, go within, connect with your inner self and see what resonates and what is right for you there. Okay, because there is this need to really stand in your truth. Okay, but this, I promise you, this season, even though it may have started off hard, you know, because we had an unexpected surge of emotions with this moon, things are good. All right, so look for the opportunity this week. The moon is casting light on opportunities that are growing around you that you need to get involved with. It may even be you've thought about doing these things before, but the timing is right now, all right? You may be worried about upsetting other people. It may be that you've realized the parties have upset you, all right? And it may be that you have to make some decisions, okay? Some strong decisions. But you are in the right position to do it now, as opposed to, I'm hearing, six months ago, okay? So get that plan. And that plan really is linked to work. So although we have got all this emotional stuff going on on a relationship level, um, actually the planning comes into work. And if you're not working and you're, or you're not in business, then it would be very much about your um, daily stuff, all right? The daily stuff that you are doing, okay? So just pay attention to that, okay? So unexpected changes may see some of you taking on more responsibility, all right? Hi, Louise. Uh, um, it may see you taking on more responsibility, but you've got this, come on. You haven't been through everything that you have been through in the last 18 months for you <coughs> to now roll over and die, as I call it. Make your affirmation this week. The universe has got my back, all right? The universe has never let you down. It may come in in the 11th hour, it may not come the way you think it does. But whatever it is that you need, the universe has always got it to you in time, if it was what you needed. And sorry, lovelies, not everybody needs a Ferrari. <laughs> For those thinking, well, I never got the car. Um, but yeah, this is a time to make choices. Choices involving people or choices that will impact other people. So pay attention to that. This is a good week, actually, if anything, to do what I say to my clients, be a businesswoman. You know, be a businessman, be a businesswoman, not be emotion led. But at the same time, I'm going to contradict myself and say, but your emotions are what's going to trigger this. You know, that unexpected event, that realization that has already gone on for most people is what will trigger this sudden surge of shift and change and taking opportunities. All right, so know, lovelies, that this can be a positive week if you just shake off the old emotion. If you are Reiki trained, this is a week to self-heal. All right, get the crystals out. You know, do what feels right for you to do spiritually. Okay, but know that this is about beginnings. Don't keep your eyes on the endings. Get your eye in the direction that you wish to go. Now, I am going to go because my voice is going and I've got to teach for two hours now. <coughs> so I hope that I have helped you. I hope that what I have said has made sense to you. And remember, I am running a competition, but only for 24 hours. And if you feel I'm giving you the opportunity to pay it forward. And if you have someone, a friend or whatever that you feel could really benefit from 30 minutes of my time, then comment them, tag them as a comment here. And then I will do, can you hear it going? Oh no, <laughs> tonight's the night I should have done, let's sit in silence. <laughs> Maybe I'll change the class. 
and we're going to learn to just be tonight. <laughs> but yeah, tag your friend. And tomorrow I will announce the winner for a 30 minute session online with myself. Have an amazing evening. If you're only just tuning in, you're going to need to catch it on replay. And if that is you, then do hashtag replay. Let me know where you are. And as I say, you can catch it on YouTube or on my Facebook page. Have a wonderful evening and a wonderful, powerful week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.